Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You are with me, Tamara Pereira. Let's take a look at the headlines. Cardinal will not take part in the Independence Day celebrations. Minister Amaravira tests COVID-19 positive. Cabral says IMF advice is only for technical assistance program. Sri Lanka sees sharp increase in booster rollout as doubts cleared. State Minister Arundhika's son arrested over attack on Ragama Medical Faculty undergrads. Childhood cancer up to 750 a year. Now, diving into these stories in detail. Member of Colombo Archdiocese Communication Unit, Reverend Father Cyril Garmini Fernando stated that Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Cardinal Malcolm Ranjit, is to boycott Independence Day celebrations tomorrow as a protest against shortcomings in the investigation carried out on the Borala Church hand grenade case and Easter Sunday bomb attack. Environment Minister Mahinda Amaravira has tested positive to COVID-19. Several MPs, including Mahinda Yapa Abewardana, tested to COVID-19 recently. Central Bank Governor Ajit Nivarad Cabral was quick to set this record straight with regard to Sri Lanka's intention to reach out to the International Monetary Fund for assistance. Referring to the comments made by the Finance Minister, Basil Rajapaksha last evening where he shared that the government had sought advice from the IMF in tackling the current economic crisis. Cabral stated that it is about to a routine technical assistance program and nothing more. Health authorities have observed a dramatic increase in the number of people getting the booster dose over the last few days, as misconceptions regarding the booster shot are getting debunked. COVID-19 coordinator Dr. Anwar Hamdani stated that they had noticed a dramatic increase in number of people getting the booster dose, especially on Sunday after a public discussion held on Saturday on media with regard to myths about the booster dose. The son of State Minister Arundhika Fernando has been arrested for assaulting the students at the Ragama Medical Faculty. The suspect, 23-year-old Avinda Randila Jihan Fernando, was arrested by the Ragama police after surrendering through a lawyer last night. Consultant pediatrician Dr. Deepal Pereira stated that about 750 children are being reported with cancer annually from the country compared to 500 recorded four or five years ago. The consultant pediatrician at Lady Ridgeway Hospital for Children also stated that the majority of childhood cancer could be cured if diagnosed and treated early rather than undergoing alternative treatments. For further details on these stories, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk. You are with me, Tamara Pereira. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup.